How's everybody doing? This late night with C. Fernald. I like that tired voice. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I am in Glutten, Germany. I think I'm saying it correctly. Glutten, Germany. See this orb? You know, I checked it out, measured it, and, you know, between the 6th and the 8th of uh, July, 2019, we're facing slightly southwest, and it's three days of footage here. So what I just did was... I played almost all the footage here. It's not really time lapse, you know, but uh, it's like time lapse. It's just really a, a photo show. So you notice I like that dark cloud, but watch where this. Um, this dark orb is right here on the right of this mountainous area. Okay, and as, you, as you're watching it, you're going to see this plasma burst take off, brighten up. And then I'm going to show you another clip. Same difference, different location. But uh, I've showed you like last year. Just in the, right here, this little bit of a striped. I'm, I'm seeing like a little bit of a striped circle there. Could be a planet. I, you know, it's about the best I could do on that. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted you to see this guy. I wanted you to see that orb. I haven't showed you a little orb like that in a while. But I, what I want to show you is that it also reflects in the water on the right. Oh, and there's a UFO that goes with it also. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a UFO. I don't care. It's in the air somewhere there. <laughs> That almost sound like poetry. But anyways, um, I looked at this thing and I said, oh, it's a bird. And I said, no, it's a plane. I said, no, it's a... I don't know what it is. You know, my mind wants to say it's a bird because it looks, looks so weird. But um, I don't know. Pretty big bird, huh? Anyways, there's an extra bonus, right? Who cares? Who cares what it is? But check this out. Yeah, these guys just get all turmoil here. This is very early in the morning. You get this bright blue. And then you get these weird kind of, uh, you know, skies. There's no filter at all on this, guys. This is straight up footage right here. But now watch before the plasma burst comes what I see in the corner. I didn't notice this until I was just editing right there. You got something coming up right there. And your orb is about the same place. It moves up and down. I think the orb personally is a stellar core. Okay, and it's not a smudge, and it does move. It's not a bug. And it's not there all the time. And so, my experience with those orbs is they're like maybe stellar cores that are locked into our orbit and they ignite. Now, on both videos, they ignite. On both clips, you know. So keep watching. Enjoy the music. Got Jesus. Now these plasma bursts never seems to never cease to amaze me how bright they are, how purple, how blue, how pink. Um, just unreal looking. You know, it's it's like the creativity of the hand of God. You know, um, you know. In reality, I know there's stellar cores, or it could be R2 going over. R2 puts out a purple color. Um, I think a couple of them put out a little bit of purple, um, but. I think the uh, the stellar cores put off different colors 
different stellar cores, different vibrations. However that works, you know. Um, so I've seen yellow, I've seen purple. But look at this thing right here. Now that looks like a stellar core in the atmosphere. Um, so, pretty trippy, huh? So, yeah, there's your little shadow in the lake right there, right? That was up higher. So there's a lot of activity going on in this sky in gluten, Germany. Thought you guys would like this. It's not that, you know, super cool, but, you know, it's not like the massive planet everybody wants to see. But this is all part of the system that's coming in, folks, you know? And you got to see the whole thing if you're going to really see it, you know? A lot of people just don't believe that my stuff's even real. But um, anybody knows me for a while, they know I'm not lying. This is all real stuff. So keep watching. That right there is amazing. Um, I mean, we, we're talking a little southwest. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. There's the orb reflection up there somewhere. We don't know where, but it's coming down from somewhere, right? <laughs> so I'm going to show you some more interesting stuff. Watch this. So you guys have seen this footage before, it's been a while, um, but it's just to confirm these plasma strikes. This right here, I believe it was in the Canary Island area, um, don't quote me on it, but um, I believe it was Canary Islands. So this stuff happens all over the world, people, have the same sunsets, the same plasma burst, same weird skies. Um, I mean, I could show you so many skies right now, it would take me six hours just to show you one folder of just clouds. And I collect everything because you never know when I might need it, <laughs> you know? Um, I do different theme films. Like right now, I'm doing a plasma theme. Look at this thing. That's unreal, right? Come on, people. What in the world? This one I like because it was just so extreme. Sun's out and everything, and all of a sudden, bam, that happens. But you get another really bright one. Uh, still haven't made out the skies on this thing. It's all kinds of stuff right beside it. Keep watching. And this one's more, way more extreme than the last one. Um, last one was pretty, uh, it was intense. It was dark. But this one, see, you know, I like I like how it, it's so bright it hit behind the uh, letters here. Down on the bottom of the page. It was amazing, huh? So let me see what else I got. I'm going to show you something from Ken. I got some plasma stuff from Ken, but I got this planet from Ken. I got to show you this. Okay, watch this.
So as you can see here, folks, <clears throat> I'm pulling up on this plasma burst on this eastern location. I think it's Cos uh, Colima, or no, Guadalajara, that whole area. We're facing east, and this right here was not just some light on a dark cloud. Um, it actually takes some shape, like a round object. And uh, I showed this, I think, last week. Um, it's pretty amazing what's there. It's like a little stellar core. So a lot of times the EMIs, the electromagnetic interference in the sky messes with the cameras. It's the same difference when you drive under a high voltage line, you lose your radio signal for a second or you lose your cell phone signal for a second. That's electromagnetic interference, uh, but at a very high level. Um, I've seen cameras totally wobble. The whole picture wiggle, you know. So check this out, people. I just showed you like a stellar core, maybe two stellar cores right there. Um, this is looking east, maybe a little bit north. And um, not just a cloud hiding uh, sunshine, right? At like 2100 hours at night, you know? No, that's stellar core. That's what I believe it is. And you see the oxide in the atmosphere, the reddish, really heavy. Now, what I'm about to show you is in Mexico also. It's in, I call it Sur, Mexico, but it's like a Colima area, basically looking southwest a little bit, I think south, mostly south. Um, but you might want to pray before you watch these UFOs because I'm going to dig them right out of the, right out of the uh, sky. And you're going to see what's hanging over Mexico, for real. Watch this. So I got two big questions. The first one is, God Jesus. The second one is, do you look up and what's in your sky? So I guess that's three questions. <laughs> My wife is laughing at me. <laughs> so you got Jesus, do you look up 
and what's in your skies. Because if you looked up, you'll see this. Bye. God bless, guys. I'll probably talk to you again.
Okay, so I'm just saying, you see this stuff in the sky, right? You know, you see the white orbs, you see the what looks like buildings, you see what looks like huge ships, you even see the faces. Uh, if you look at to the right there, if you notice that was a huge face in the cloud, it, the whole cloud made up a huge face. There's all kinds of anomalies in the sky, signs in the sky, signs in the heavens. You'll be recording this stuff in China and in India for thousands of years as these planets come through now do I believe that's fallen alien technology not alien I think it's fallen angel technology for sure and uh, this is part of the great deception um, they're letting us see them more and more um, it's crazy just keep watching I'm going to show you some really filtered extreme filtered blown up alright get ready <laughs> 